love television, if you love TV, TV just got better. You know, this world, when it went from standard definition to high definition, was this astronomical leap. And we haven't seen a lot of gigantic leaps in TV really in the last five to seven years. This is a big leap, isn't it? Oh, this is an awesome leap. Oh, this, this is TV like you've never seen before. From the folks at Samsung, that's a company that wowed everybody at the Consumer Electronics Show back in February when they unveiled this picture. And we've got it as a today's special value. You haven't seen a an actual TV as a today's special value here at QVC since last Labor Day, where right. you know, one of our bigger sizes sold out relatively early in the, in the evening. Uh, I, Craig Smith, I'm colorblind and I'm blown away by this. <laughs> I just like the fact that as we're, we're sitting here now, we're working, right? Reminds me of my, reminds me of my mom saying, what are you going to accomplish sitting around watching TV all day? <laughs> well, it's, mom, I'm working today. That's what I'm doing today. Sitting around watching this gorgeous 4K television that has a 240 hertz refresh rate. means all the action is going to look spectacular. It's a smart TV as well. And it also has something built in here called intelligent TV. That we're going to talk about that throughout the yeah. course of this presentation and during our nine o'clock hour. But the big story with TV, let's cut to the chase. Right there, QLED technology from this brand, Samsung. It is an absolutely gorgeous picture. And that's the number one thing you care about when you're watching a television. It, it, it's not just a gorgeous picture, it is the gorgeous picture. Mm -hmm. You have probably never seen a depth of picture like this on a TV. It, this is like looking out a window. Let me step over here and let's show them what they get. Let's do it. This, this is a great opportunity. First of all, Samsung, number one. Number one. Number one brand here at QVC for television sets. And I remember, do you remember the first TV that you ever had in your own first apartment? Uh, yes, I do. It was a 21 inch Sony that my father uh, got when he opened up like a CD account back in the 80s. Show, show it was the hand me down TV got I, to me. I had a 13 inch black and white with rabbit ears. Oh man, look okay. at that. Uh, this is the 49 inch and it's priced at $749. Now I will say this, do you watch more TV during the, the winter months than you do during summer? Absolutely, I do. Yeah. Yes. Football season. Come on. Well, and then plus you get the cold weather, especially when the when December and January rolls around. Yep. That's like that. Huddle around the TV and watch the movie time. So we've got a 49 inch. We have a 55 inch, 65 inch. By the way, oh, <laughs> yeah, look at look at these big boys in the back. 75 inch, but this, I I want to hug it. Oh. Oh, we, can play, we can play a lot of hide and seek behind inch. this TV. The entire TV from front to back is that wide. So yes, they're perfect. They come with the stands mm -hmm. and we can save you hundreds and hundreds. Just on the 49 inch, it's about $125 off of the retail value. And this TV in particular is the one that people in the industry are talking about as just blowing them away. This is a QLED, the 49 inch, normally sells for $875. We're at $749. Nice. But, because it's Easy Pay Day, I got six Easy Pay payments for you of $124 and change. The 55 inch would normally be $1,000 and then some, and we're at $899. Savings again, over $100. The 65 inch is normally $1,400, and we're asking under $12. Now, when we get into the big guys, the 75 inch and the 82 inch, those sale prices also include delivery to your door yep. from trained professionals who know how to move TVs. And I'll be the first one to say, electronics is probably the only area of consumer goods where they keep getting better and better and better, and the prices actually came down. That's nice. When it, it used to be, if we went back five years ago when this 4K talk started. Yes. The, an 82 inch TV like this would be thousands and thousands Tens of, of thousands of dollars. I remember being at the Consumer Electronics Show when they first unveiled yeah, I was that, with four, you. that 4K technology. And we saw these pictures and we were like, these are amazing wow. TVs. And if you're a gazillionaire, you can have a 4K television set. The way this has moved down in price has been absolutely spectacular. 
and you're getting this amazing picture quality. But just to be clear, there is a lot of 4K television out there. Yes. A lot of them are out there. The difference is who's providing that screen. And when you look at the Samsung screen with that QLED yep. technology, there is a substantial difference from what you'll see on these screens to some of those bargain basement television brands. Let's talk high tech and we'll do that in a minute. Sure. I also want to point out, <clears throat> Samsung is the number one brand name of televisions here at QVC. And our working relationship with this incredible company is such that they give our consumers, our shoppers, a two year warranty on the TV. Now, they also do that with our sister network, which is the home shopping network. They don't do that elsewhere. No. You have to pay for an extended warranty. And it's not cheap. No. But nowadays, we count on televisions to be there for 10 years, 15 years, or more. So it becomes actually amortized out of the life of the TV, one of the most affordable expenses in terms of entertainment, information, and with it being a smart TV, I have sources of of things to watch that I just never had before. Yeah, well the days of saying, hey, I gotta rush home Tuesday yeah. night for eight o'clock to watch my favorite show. Must, nah, must I, see TV. Yeah, must see TV is when you yeah. wanna watch it. I think yeah. of my kids, my daughters are now 10 and 12 years old. They have never said that to me once of, dad, it's Thursday night, we have to we watch get this home. program. Doesn't happen because there's so much content to stream. And oh, by the way, in addition to the amazing picture quality, this is also a smart TV as well. And a neat call out here, this is a big one right here. Apple TV? Yep. I have Apple TV in my house. I've had it for years, but the way it works in my house, it's an actual box I had to pay for separately and plug it into the television. This is a big new feature right here with Samsung. They have now partnered with Apple to have Apple TV available. So if you already have an Apple account, now you don't need the box. It's another one of the apps like Hulu, That's like cool. Netflix, like Amazon Prime Video that allows you to stream directly and also mirror your screen off of your devices. So you're getting the TV in any one of these five amazing sizes. We also have some other accessories that are available. Uh, the accessories, the universal guide to browse content, the all-in-one remote. Show, sh we'll show you how yep. tiny that remote is. That comes with it. You also get Bixby. Yes. Yeah, what? Who, huh? Bixby, that's Samsung's voice assistant. It, and on the remote control, you basically have a little button you can press. How like lazy microphone. have we become? But you okay. know what? It makes our lives easier when you're searching for content <laughs> oh, and getting I access to things. Yeah. I could be laying on the couch and say, show me the Darlington race. <laughs> yes. And the TV goes, okay, Dan. Yeah. And, and you watch your race. Show me some comedies. Find me Tom Hanks movies. Find yes. me a romantic comedy to watch. What sports are on television now? It's, It'll be able to access all of that amazing. content. And this remote control is so easy to use as well. I remember the remotes from like the 80s and 90s. Oh, you had to have an MIT engineering yeah, degree. Exactly. We yeah. just have a couple of buttons on here. It's very easy to navigate. The main thing you'll be using is the wheel right here. And then this home button right there in the center. Of course, you have your channel and your volume controls. But anytime you hit that home button, that's what gives you access to the toolbar on the bottom for all those different applications. And I'll show you how that works. I just press the home button. And on the bottom of the 49 inch television in front of me here, here's that app toolbar. And you can customize this. There are apps available in an app store. So pick and choose what you want. So let's say for example, you don't have you don't want to use Google Play. Well, I can remove that application or I can move it around somewhere else. Or let's say, hey, I am going to watch YouTube a lot. Well, now I'm going to move the YouTube app yep. and I want to have it right there. I you customize this the way you want to watch your television set. The way we get access to our TV nowadays, Dan, is better than ever before. Okay, let's talk a little bit about, about technology. And I, I don't want to get overburdened with it, but this thing called Quantum Dots. Yes. <clears throat> Every TV, I don't care who makes it, make, model, whether it's 4K, 720, mm -hmm. 1080p, I mean, these, all these numbers, they all have dots. And those dots are pixels, and those pixels are of different colors, and that's how you blend it together. There's also this new technology called QLED. Now, we didn't invent that. You know, no. We, we seem to own the letter Q right here. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. This but, is Samsung's proprietary technology. And, and what does it mean in terms of a better picture? So the Q aspect of the LED is proprietary to Samsung. That's their quantum dot. But the LED is just like the LED lights we use in our house. It's the light emitting diode. What it means for you. Again, we're getting really deep into the techie here on a holiday weekend. Why do you care? 
because you get a billion different shades of color available on this television set. Which, by the way, the human eye mm -hmm. sees just a little over that one billion. Well, they call this 100% color volume yes. because this is going to be able to capture all of the colors that your eyes can actually it's like see. Looking out, it's like looking out a window. It, it's remarkably accurate. And plus, you partner that, so the LED with the lighting in the TV, with those pixels that you were talking about, Dan. Here's the difference between 1080p and what's called 4K or ultra high def UHD. Again, you walk into the stores, it can really be overwhelming. This breaks it down for you right here. So a 1080p television set looks good. But when you get up close, you can still get a little bit of pixelation. It's a really right. good picture, don't get me wrong, but it still looks like a television picture. With 4K, and we're going to get some amazing shots of these TVs in this presentation and coming up at 9 o'clock, it doesn't matter how close our cameras get to these screens. You can get right up close and personal, and you are not going to miss any detail whatsoever. The different shades of green, all these different threads pulling apart. How about this one right here? This is a great image right here. I'll see if I can pause it in time. Okay. By the way, look at this right here. I'm pausing this video. There is zero pixelation, and there's also something pretty amazing happening right now. The dark on the screen and the light, so between the black black yep. and the bright yellow, that is remarkably difficult for a television to produce. The dark and the bright at the same time. That's the high dynamic range. There's no pixelation range there at all. And you get things like, you know, uh, these wonderful <clears throat> high technology phrases. Here's what we did, very simply put. If you walked into a major electronics store and you see that whole wall of TVs, mm -hmm. the only ones that we put on the air when we talk about it today's special value are the ones that if you walked in and saw 100 TVs, you'd gravitate towards this TV. Because just because it's 4K doesn't mean that they're all made the same. Samsung is no, the not. number one brand name here at QVC. Mm -hmm. Now that's 49 inches and it's measured diagonally from that corner to the lower corner. By the way, do you know why TV manufacturers rate their TVs by diagonal measurements? No, I don't. Really? I, I don't know why they do that. They've always measured it that way. I never knew Honestly, why. It's marketing because mm -hmm. the measurement from side to side is Not a nearly lower measurement sure. than the diagonal. So they measure it by the diagonal. Look at that. Okay. I've got to tell you, this picture blew me away. And I'm your toughest critic in terms of color TVs. I'm fully colorblind. I see dog colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what I see here is this three-dimensional depth that I've never seen on a TV. You and I were out in Las Vegas together at the That's Consumer right. Electronics Show. We were. When they showed this TV, yeah. and no, no other manufacturer, no other TVs had so many people surrounding the TV blown away by it. You're seeing, we see some footage, we were laughing. Part of the, the recorded footage that Samsung did, it looks like a, a, a lipstick ad. Yes. I have never been enthralled by a lipstick ad ever <laughs> in my life until I saw this. Yeah, and look at the, the things we're seeing right here. That high dynamic range gives you the ability to see the darks and the lights at the same time. There's a th feature in here called intelligent mode, which actually will adjust the brightness based on the settings inside of your room. Think right. about that because our rooms, the, the natural light changes throughout the course of the day, this TV will adjust for you. Plus, it's a smart TV to stream your favorite content, including the Apple TV app, which was not right. available on last year's version of this television set. So it just gives you an amazing wow. picture, awesome oh, sound. Great. And just to show you those different screen sizes that we're talking about here, yeah. look what we have here. How big is a 65-inch TV? Well, here it is, filling 65 inches. How much more screen space do you get if you make the upgrade to what is the most popular size, the 65? Well, the 49, that's a great picture right there. I agree. Look at all the extra space we're picking up here. But, if you make but that I will move. also say this, the quote, big screen TV of today is not the big screen TV that took up half the living room. No. Before, they are Those projection screens, super yes. slim. They fit in beautifully into cases like this. How much connectivity do I have? What type of, of jacks and things like that do I have on you the back? You have four HDMI ports in the back. Four. Four of them. So okay. think about this, your cable box, Blu-ray player, gaming system. You also, there's a shot of the back of the television yeah. right there. Also, you see what's stuck in the top port there? That's a USB stick. So actually the content that we're playing on these TVs, we're playing it off of a USB drive. Uh -huh. You can plug that in as well. At the very bottom, you also have the old school cable jack if you want to plug it in that way. Although I do 